The first attack we're going through is the arm drag, which is basically a way of going around towards the, the back. Let me just demonstrate. So I'm going to be kicking this leg, stepping out to the side, reaching to the back of the tricep here, pulling, coming around towards the back, and working to the back from here. Now, when do we go for the arm drag? It's usually when my opponent is looking to gain control of my legs. Okay, so if Melee is reaching for my legs, you see this gives me like this space here around the arm is, is open. I can get a grip on the wrist and I can get a grip around the arm here. If he's going towards the upper body, it's much harder. Okay, it's very hard from here. I have to kind of like circle and do this big movement to clear that arm all the way out of the way around the side. Okay, so when we're thinking about the timing for this, it's when our opponent's trying to grip our legs, pin our legs, and try to run around the, the guard like that. Some people will do that with their hands. Sometimes they'll come in with their arms pushing your upper body or trying to have an upper body battle. Okay, so we've got an opponent reaching towards our legs. We're grip fighting here. I want to, I want to turn melee away as I move around to the side. So there's kind of two things here. Okay, the standard way to think of this, which I think is wrong, is a lot of people think about just pulling the person past you, and it's all me pulling. But in reality, especially if you've got a bigger opponent, or if they're seated back well, you're not going to, to necessarily pull them. You need to be ready to move yourself. Okay, so the same action should achieve both. I want to turn melee, so I actually will kick with my right leg here. Turn it. So my leg here will kick the inside of the knee like this, and you can see that starts to turn melee to face away. Okay. At the same time as I do that, my foot's going to move out to the side and scoot me around. So I bring my butt towards my heel here. Okay. At the same time as I kick, like this. Okay. So that's the, the leg work we're going to use, like so. Now, with our arms, I want to grip with my left hand at the wrist, right hand, coming up towards the shoulder, okay? Not so much at the elbow. A lot of time people teach this at the elbow, but notice how when I pull the elbow, it doesn't actually move Melee's core, okay? The elbow is less attached. He could let his arm move and not move anyway, okay? So I can go here on the, on the shoulder. So by pulling the shoulder towards my shoulder, that's going to get a much better action. You need the hand, the hand needs to, to clear your body. Okay, it doesn't have to be, like it could be like here, but it needs to be on this side of my body. I can't have the hand staying on here. So the aim of it is to kind of push across as we, as we do the pull. Okay, we can't just be, be pulling at one time. We need to be, to be timing this well. Like pulling like so, okay. Just an added detail on this, this pull. Sometimes, you, sometimes you'll actually pull the arm across like this. Okay, and we've got like both arms pulling. But if you just kind of keep your upper body stiff, notice here sometimes that can kind of slip the grip. Okay, it can occasionally be better to actually push, like put, put the, the arm across the body, but actually push down. See how the, the angle of the shoulder now, when I pull on it, I can pull me like forward. Okay, so sometimes you want to get their weight forward by doing that, as opposed to like this, where I actually lose that that traction because these arms come up. Okay, so occasionally you want to actually push the wrist down and across this way as opposed to across that body this way. So again, putting all that together, we're here looking for grip fights. Melee's looking for my legs. You're not going to be able to do it when he grabs your legs. So you're going to have to, if he does, you're going to have to strip that. I'm going to go from when I get a control on the wrist, push on the leg, step out to the side, reach to the armpit, and I'm going to move myself across as I pull. Okay, now let's turn. Okay. So once you drag the arm, what you want to do immediately is prevent him from getting the arm back. Okay, so I'm going to put my chest over the tricep here, and I'm going to be holding the, the arm tight with my arm still. Okay, so I want to actually keep that trap. Try and remove that, that arm again, Millie. If my chest is not tight, if there's distance to my chest, pull that arm back, he gets an underhook, I can end up in bad position. So when I do this arm drag, I want to get my chest attached to the arm here. It's very counterintuitive. See how I've actually 
instead of going straight for the back, I'm not going, trying to come up and over. If I try that, he can get this arm back and I lose it. I actually want to go face away, put my chest forward, just so he can't get that arm back. My other hands come around the, the far side of the, the waist here, like so, okay. Now that I've got this, I can start to get up. So I scoot my hips back and I come up over the top here, looking for the seat belt. Obviously looking to take the back from here. We'll kind of assume that we, that we stop here. We don't need, to, no need to go for a back take from here, but you'll see I've got my bottom hook and I can get a seat belt. So again on that late stage positioning, we arm drag, I attach my chest to the back. Notice the space here is okay, as long as I get this part of the elbow covered. All right. Now from here, I'm going to take that space with my hip. So I build up like this, I put myself hip to hip. So if I let go of the arm now, get your underhook back. I'm keeping too tight with my body now. Okay, so I close that gap off, block that arm from coming through. Okay. If I just tried to get up here, get your arm back, too much space. Okay, so I'm looking to close that off here and then come up for the seat. So some common mistakes with the arm drag. Most of it's timing, you have to drill this a lot, because like, you have to hit these things at once. When, when you get this point, you've got to you know, go around to the back quite quick. If you, if you kind of go arm first and then try to kick the legs and move, it's, it's, it's not really going to work. Okay, so you have to drill it and it has to be almost automatic to be able to get it in training. Next is often, th this is a, a huge problem, is this, this scoot. Oh, I see people trying to do it with the butterfly hook, it's not really going to work with the the butterfly hooks here, at least not as well. It's much better if my foot is on the outside and I can bring my hips around. So you've got to make sure you're actually bringing your hips to your foot as you do this, and at the same time, kicking to turn them away. Reasonably common to see people do this the wrong way, especially at first, they'll often grab the wrist with the right hand and the armpit with this and try to pull across like that, okay? This is, I don't have good pull here, okay? I want my opposite arm reaching to the shoulder, okay? So uh, my left, hand gripping the right wrist, right hand gripping the, the shoulder, trying to pull across from here. A very common one I see is people falling back to arm drag. So I see people go like, okay, trying to arm drag here. It's very hard for me to actually chase the back now. By the time I get up, Mila's gonna recover his arm and I lose it. Okay, so I actually have to kind of stay forward like this. You can, I say forward, you can like, Scoot to the side, but like you're almost like facing your chest downwards. I never kind of face my, I never face my chest upwards and fall backwards. It's like out to the side like this is fine, but not straight back to pull. Okay, so make sure you're not going like this and trying to arm drag. You really want to be going onto your side as you scoot around. So for the arm drag, I've got distance, not too close. Okay, I'm scooting in. Melee starting to reach towards my leg so I control the wrist. I'm gonna kick the leg as I step to the side, reach to the top of the armpit, pull across, chest behind the arm, reach across the body. From here, I'm going to bring my hip to his hip, come over the top, and lock the seatbelt. 